Do not attempt to adjust your screen. Forbes DVD Live is taking over. You know what I mean? But yo, we got Jay Hood in the building. Yeah, yeah, you already know that. Yo, the fly shit about Jay Hood, this was my second interview ever in my life. When I was in the crib with you. Oh, Rest in peace to your mom. Yeah, yeah. that was oh, my oh, second oh, interview shit. ever. Yeah, that was so oh, yeah. Second shit. interview ever. And um, that shit didn't know me. Yeah, I done went on to do like uh, 2,000 something interviews after that, but that was a start. That's what it is. What's going on, man? What you been up to? Hey, man, I'm just out here living, man. Trying yeah. to do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, the last time we saw you, well, rather, the last time I was with you, um, you, the fire happened. Yeah. Um, the whole lock situation happened. Yep. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, everything is all good with them now. Yeah, everything, everything is great, man. You know what I mean? Them, them was my older brothers, you know what I'm saying? Every family had fights, you know what I mean? With the, whether it be the younger brother with the older brothers. And, you know, that's the thing about our situation, I just made it public. You know how come, how, how can you think the media never said, Everything is all good now. I mean, because I end up being the bad guy in that situation. I end up being the one that was looked at as being disloyal, et cetera, et cetera. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, you know, a lot of people that really have common sense, they can, you know, look at the situation and dissect it and see, you know, see what it is for what it really is. But then you got the people that's really looking at it from a fan's point of view, and they will never really, like, comprehend what really happened because they're so, like, so stuck in that, that fan mentality. You're you not know. old now. But you was definitely younger then. Yeah, I mean, if, if if you had to do that all over again, how would you handle? How would you handle that different now, being a grown man right now? I mean, I just would, uh, cause it, it's nothing wrong with me wanting to leave the situation. You know, uh -huh. it's just the way I went about it. Yeah. You know, I didn't have to drag the chain. I'd be the first person to say that I didn't have to do that. That that was a little extreme. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the, the multiple disc records, I definitely had to do none of that either. But at the time, I felt. You know, that's what I needed to do because, you know, my whole purpose for doing it, a lot of people got the whole misconception of why I was doing it. A lot of people were like, oh, he, he was lashing out at them because his album ain't driving all the other stuff. It never was about that. Okay. I, was, I was past that at that point. It was more or less about them not releasing me from my contract. So okay. I was upset about that. But I just went about it the wrong way, man. You know what I mean? I got a chance to apologize to them one by one, you know what I'm saying? I'm some real grown man, so we got past that. I got tired of, you know, walking around with that cloud over my head. The, the the industry kind of was unkind to you too after all that situation. Yeah, I'm still, it's still, <laughs> I could talk regular on him. Like, yeah, it's shit, still fuck motherfuckers that be acting funny. Mm -hmm. Like now they like they ain't like totally clear. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it is what it is. Looking back, would you have came on stage for fifty again? Let me tell you why I did that. Okay, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Look, that's another thing. I have to get into that. Um, you know, whenever you're looking for. You know, a distribution situation, you, you take all meetings with everybody. Yeah, you don't meetings. discriminate against nobody. So, uh -huh. you know, with that being said, at the time, a lot of behind the, the, uh, the door stuff was going on as far as, like, you know, me not being able to reach out and communicate with these radio uh -huh. heads and all that because of the, the relationship with them. They didn't want to feel like they stepping on people's toes or whatever the case be. So I had to go to the internet uh -huh. and speak to the world through the net because that was a faster way for me to talk so you know I did that and I got a couple of meetings a couple of people hit me up a couple of different labels but it just so happens that I had a meeting with 50 and that was the biggest one out of all the meetings so that kind of like just that whole the whole idea of me taking the meeting with him got like over exaggerated I spoke with him we took that meeting and then the next thing after that was me going to the show with him and like I said at the time when you when you in, engaging in war yeah. It's strategy to walk, man. You got casualty, so I'm like, you know, I gotta hit him when it hurts. If I get on stage with son, that'll hurt. So that's why I did that at the time. Not saying that it was right, but you know. But then you have people who say, "Huh, you was used in that situation because you don't get nothing from." It. I'm, yo, I'm in the X all day. We in the ghost town. You know what I'm saying? It's right in the back door of my hood and all that. So the nigga, yeah, yo, I found out them niggas was doing the show. I called son up like, yo, say that niggas doing the show. What's the name? You know what I mean? I'm about to pull up. You like to pull up then? So I pull up. You know what I mean? We went on stage, it wasn't what, what. Yeah, yo was always the liaison to all the, the, the street dudes and all that. I ain't gonna front, I'm gonna keep it a rap though. Niggas pull me on stage, they like, yo, what a homie or that went on stage. Nigga, yeah, yo. Yo, fuck deep blood. I'm like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> ah, man, this nigga, you know what I'm saying? But I can't say nothing at that point. I'm like, it is what it is, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's um, a fact, you know that shit. <laughs> crazy, yo. D block, are you? That's so stupid. 
Are you still D block to you, fam? Yeah, I'm D block till I die, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still got it tattooed across my stomach. It's on my neck. Fat. It's deeper than just me being, you know, signed to a company because we we sat down collectively, me and my brothers, and came up with the whole idea of D block. It's not like I just stepped aboard something that was already established. I helped create this, so I'm gonna be that, and so it's no more me. You feel me? When they when they drop the music now, do you sometimes say, "I don't get on that right there"? Like, honestly. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to sound, you know, saying this. I don't know if I'm going to sound like uh, biased or whatever the case be, but, you know, I get this from a lot of people as well. Like, they always going to be who they are. They hard body. They're the streets. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know they ask they some lyrics. The niggas is telling time. you they need some hood. Right, they like, yo, you're like the missing ingredients, what they missing right now. Everybody know we could have took it over the top. We the only, like, Click that never got to really capitalize off of our name as far as like the people that came in in our era. You know, they had to, you had the dip sets, you had the G units, you even had Terror Squad doing their thing, but you know, we was on that totem pole, we didn't even capitalize. You know what I mean? We were just on the mixtape level with it and never like, you know, made that transition. So, um, you, OBG. Yeah, what is that? Grind. What does yeah, it stand for? On the grind. And how has the grind been? Because you've been in the game for a minute now. You're like a, a, a young old man. A young, yo, a, a young old dude, man. 13 years, man. How has it, it been for you trying to get your shit off and, and do what you have to do? I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. No rainbow, man. Like, you know, and it's even harder, you know, due to my situation and due uh -huh. to me being, you know, looked at a certain way because of the whole ordeal. So I had that extra pressure on me, you know, so... Um, I ain't crying about nothing, but yeah. it, just, it was just the extra shit that was added on to it because, you know, like I said, my situation. But the grind is what it is. You got to put that footwork in. If you ain't built for it, you don't need to be in this shit. So, um, what, what's some of the ways people can reach out to you? And we on Twitter. We on IG, man. Holler at me on Twitter at ODG underscore Don. Get at me on um, IG. King Hood underscore ODG. You know what I'm saying? Why I'm shouting motherfuckers out, shout my joint out and all that. Shout out to the homie Black PMT and all that, man. You know, my BK dudes, BDM, shout out to everybody I, I rock with. Yeah, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yonkers. What, yeah, what is, yeah. What is Yonkers, what is Yonkers like? Because, you know, when I was growing up, all I knew about Yonkers was the fucking racetrack. I'm going to keep it going. Yeah. I ain't think it was no hood. It's a racetrack. I ain't think it was no hood. I ain't think the shit was street. I ain't think nothing. And then when Mary J. Blige came, I was like, Yonkers? She from Yonkers? What the fuck That's is That's a fact. She from the hole. Yeah. So then... Yonkers started getting a name. Uh, um, yeah, you were part of that. Yeah, you were part of that. Yeah, man, yeah. I mean, 20 Jesus from Yonkers? Yeah, I didn't even know. You know, it's not. Yeah, Yonkers, yeah. man, Yonkers is a, you know, it's a hood everywhere, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just, yeah. we just, um, all hood is in a, in something called a county instead of a borough, but okay. it goes down out there just like it go down anywhere else. We got Murderville, which is Mount Vernon. That's the next town over. And it's like, we, we, we collided with each other. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's like Murderville and Wyo. You got uh, New Rock, you got White Plains, you got all the surrounding areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody just, you know, we be on that now on four shit. We fuck with seven when they have it. So what, what do you think it would take right now for you to really get your shit popping? Like, what, what's the right situation? You just gotta look at me and stop looking at me from a, from a naive eye. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, motherfuckers make mistakes, man. It's life. Yeah. Ain't nobody perfect out here. You have to... You need, you know, you have to experience trial and error out here, man. You're gonna, you're gonna fuck up sometimes when you're young, and as you get older, you're gonna look at shit differently. That's a part of life, dude. What I did and my whole shit and what happened, that wasn't the first time something like that happened in the world. Shit been going on since the beginning. Well, the funniest shit I'm, I'm gonna say from the other side, what you did started what everybody does now. They, they actually did the Let the Locks Go campaign and shit. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't on the internet. Yeah. But imagine what they would have been doing if the internet was more prevalent at the time. Yo, to, be, to keep it a million, I got that from my bros, man. Yeah, the way yeah, I yeah, lashed yeah. out, they taught me to lash yeah, out like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't go in halfway on nobody, especially not them. So that's what led that. I mean, led to that. Um, 2014, what you got coming up? Uh, man, we're trying to do a couple different things, man. I've been um, hitting the, the mixtape circuit as far as like on the, um, on the internet level, though. Because you know everything is... It's digital, viral, man. Yeah. And viral and you know shit like that. So I got a lot of mixtapes on that piff. Okay. Um, what is it under? Where could they look at? I mean, it's numerous mixtapes. Is it under J Hood? Is yeah, J Hood. But okay. you can actually go on my website, which is jhoodonline.com. Okay. And all yeah, the mixtapes, everything is there. Yeah. If you go on the ODG on um, ENTonline.com and check out a few videos on there too. And uh, besides that, 
Me and the, um, the big homie Yuck Mouth from the Bay, we got a, a collab album coming out top of next year. And then uh, me and Big Twin from Infamous Mom got a collab album coming out next year too. And I don't need to keep going on, but uh, we got a short film that we about to start. Ah, keep going. Pro -pro -pro. Filming next month called Perseverance. You know okay. what I'm saying? Then I got an autobiography that's coming out in February called Tells from the Hood. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the album that was supposed to be? <laughs> yeah, I had that. I'm like, you know what? The momentum was taken out of the actual title of the album, so let me at least use that as a title for the book. You still could drop that album called Tales from the Hood. Yeah, I think, I think Cause so. Because every time, it's like it's like if Pat Poos didn't drop Not So Even Dream. Yeah. That's all he promoted. You promoted Tales from the Hood for like 15 years. For like 15 <laughs> joints. Like they had me, yo, had me sounding crazy. Like, yo, hold up, man. This nigga every fucking month. Tales from the Hood. Tales from the Hood. It ain't my fault. Want to support ForbesDVD.com? Then log on ForbesDVD.com and click the donate button and donate whatever you can. Support. Thank you. ForbesDVD.com